Hey everybody, it's Rook. Welcome back. Got some more Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG news right from Konami today on July 1st. Jumping right on this because it's something that I'm personally excited about. They have announced a date for the return to organized play for local game stores and for other uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG stores uh, to resume official tournaments. That's fantastic. I know we were all looking for it. Magic's already done it. Digimon's doing it. And now we're seeing Konami follow suit with Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. So, I wanted to get this out to you guys in case you didn't see the article. The link is in the description below. And also, I wanted to talk just a little bit about what that means for Speed Duel. This is a Speed Duel channel primarily. For those of you that clicked on this and, and play Advanced, welcome. Hopefully this is informative for you guys. But uh, what does this mean for the Remote Duel, the Remote Duel Extravaganza? You know, I did some research on top of this after seeing this news to see if Konami in any place said that they would continue Remote Duel Extravaganzas after a return to organized play locally. And by the way, guys, sorry, uh, to clarify, this is for the U.S. I believe that they're still in the process of trying to set a date for Canada and Latin America. But right now, this July 15th reopening date is for the United States only. So I did some research to see if they ever said anywhere how long they would continue remote dual extravaganzas, and it was unclear. So now we need to talk about what this means for the remote dual extravaganza. And the reason why I'm, I'm so hung up on that, because, you know, a lot of people were like, well, I hate remote dueling. I'm excited to get back to my LGS. Me too. All right, me too. But there are a couple great uh, prize support pieces for Speed Duel, which is my game of choice, that we were seeing in the remote dual extravaganza that we you know, all of a sudden might disappear if they do not continue and it goes back to kind of a less uh you know less frequent ycs in a physical location so primarily i'm talking about price support for speed duel like the the yugi and the kaiba mats and of course the the speed duel coin the duel link duel links coin uh stores note might not have that on hand we will hopefully still see tournament pack two that's the other thing i think that we might only see tournament pack two once we go back to physical it was tournament pack two people were gravitating to because that's what the stores were getting tournament pack one was kind of making its way out of the scene and therefore the price of tournament pack one sealed spiked you know during all of last year now they recently started reintroducing it as an option for you to take in their motel extravaganza if you get first or second you get two which I think they were valued anywhere between Speed Duel Tournament Pack 1, what was it, like $25 a pack, maybe? I don't know what the price is now, because we have seen more people win that off of the Remote Duel Extravaganzas that we saw in June and in May. And this does line up, because I believe the next Remote Duel Extravaganza is usually they wait till like the end of the month, but I think this time they're looking at, what are the weekends? I think it's July 10th and 11th, which seemed a little early. It's a little early for a Remote Duel Extravaganza. Usually we're seeing like the end of the month. I think, I think in June, it was the last weekend in June. So this lines up with their announcement that they announced today to reopen local organized play effective July 15th. It sounds like, and it looks like, they're clearly trying to sneak in one more kind of North American United States remote dual extravaganza that weekend right before the organized play returns. So that is a, a sign and of course, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you, if you saw this anywhere, I did some research, I could not find any solid evidence that they were going to continue Remote Duel Extravaganza once Organized Play comes back on a local standpoint or from a local format. Based on how that lines up, that might this might be the last one in July, you know, which means we're going to see a loss of some serious prize support for Speed Duel, you know, unless they have a plan to kind of ship it out to... to specific stores that are a uh, tournament official um, that are hosting these tournaments frequently and also guys you know for the speed duelists out there hopefully you guys find a local store that is going to run speed duel another thing that we're probably going to see is that a lot of uh, local game stores that maybe had some speed duel kicking around and maybe could get like four to six people together for a tournament you know before last year now all of a sudden we're finding that they're out of product people don't want to play the game anymore so let me know what you guys are, are thinking, how your community is looking, and, and how that's going to be feasible for you. You know, for a lot of you guys, I'm sure that remoting and remote dueling was a great way for you guys to play it. That, you know, it was the way that everyone had to play it, so you got a lot of people to play with. But now I think that we're going to see remote people disperse to go back to the local game store. And so let me let me know, guys, what, you, uh, what your situation is locally and, and if you're going to be able to play locally. Luckily, my store still maintains Speed Duel product. Um, there's one store that's, that's very big here. Uh, that does a lot, a lot of advanced. I think they do like three different nights of Yu-Gi-Oh! So then, you know, it's usually like the Sunday night they, they bring in the Speed Duels. So they still have product. They think they still have like Match Millennium Twisted Nightmares on the shelves. And hopefully they still bring some people in. I'm assuming they have a tournament pack too. So the point of this video, this short video, just to, uh, you know, alert you guys that this is happening. 
The date is July 15th for North America, well, specifically United States. But uh, if anything, this is just a call to action on the remote dual extravaganza that is this uh, July what, 11th and 12th. Is that what I just said? So, guys, we might lose this prize support for the foreseeable future until we see it reintroduced as, uh, you know, something in a YCS or maybe they ship some to, to game stores, but I'm certain certain it wouldn't be all of them. So if you guys are looking for more Tournament Pack 1s and that Yugi and Kaiba mat, this month is going to be the one to do it. Maybe they will do a remote dual extravaganza into August, September, you know, because the guidelines are pretty stringent around, you know, they're continuing to evaluate health and safety. People should be vaccinated. It's recommended people are vaccinated, things of that nature. So there might be, there's always going to be some people that are, you know, still kind of skittish and don't want to go out anywhere. Um, and they're going to be people that are just kind of still staying away from things, which is totally fine. So I think that maybe in, in a way to kind of, uh, be sympathetic to that, they might continue a couple more remote dual extravaganzas. So it's really hard to tell. I, I don't see them doing it past September, unless they really think that they're making so much money and they, they're going to maintain the player interest of doing it remotely now that local stuff's opened up, that they might, I mean, it's free money, you might as well keep doing it. Well, it's not free money, you got to pay the judges and there's a lot of things that go into it, but if they're getting the, the proper support, maybe they'll continue it. But I, I have a good hunch that they're going to shut it down once local stuff kind of gets bad and get into a swing of things pretty consistently. So um, this is just kind of a, a warning call for the speed duelists out there um, that want to get those mats and uh, get tournament pack ones pretty quickly and, and effectively by winning speed duel uh, brackets. So same thing to the advanced guys out there, you know, I mean, the what is it, the promotional card that you guys get and uh, the win -a mat stuff, you know, like structure deck mats and, and other mats and, and the remote dual extravaganza, uh, blech, the remote dual extravaganza mats in general. Not sure how those are going to be produced as prize support on a local level or even a regional level moving forward once these cease to exist. So, you know, a lot of things have changed in the past couple of years. And uh, they have, of course, they've dished out prize support in terms of mats, dice, card sleeves, things of that nature, uh, you know, in a mild, a number of different ways in the past 10 years or so. But, you know, things change. It's been a couple of years now, so we don't know how it's going to be distributed, what's going to happen. So I would just tell everybody to go out and, and have yourselves one more great remote tool extravaganza. Um, and hopefully there are a couple more kind of to buffer this return. But based on the fact that they kind of snuck it in the weekend before and now that here's this announcement that july 15th united states are going to resume uh you know united states guys we might uh we might not have that chance anymore european crew you guys are probably still good do it get your mats get your coins get whatever you guys want turn pack one we're jealous over here that we're going to lose we may potentially lose that easy access to prize support but i'm excited for locals to come back hope you guys are too it's going to be you know change it's going to be a change just like how we changed towards remote we're going to change back out of remote things are going to be might, might not be as smooth as we think it might be a little bumpy but i'm excited to get back into it hopefully you guys are too hope you guys enjoyed this quick update and video if you guys did please feel free to hit the like button i'll catch you guys later see ya